angry left and the feminists are kicking off at the policing of the Sarah Everard vigil, and rightly so. Women should be able to have a vigil. They don't need policing by Metropolitan Police officers, specifically and actually because the woman was killed by a police officer, but that's one thing. The main point is people should be able to peacefully protest no matter what the ridiculous COVID act says. Now, some people are so outraged by the hypocrisy of the left, they can't see the bigger picture. Clearly, when people were protesting about lockdown and brutally treated, everybody should have been outraged about that as well. And they weren't because it was just people like me, people that have never been in favor of anybody being locked down about anything. But listen, we're at the place now where we are actually agreeing. It's time to move beyond pointing out the hypocrisy of the left and how they only care when it affects their side. We know that already. The point is right now we are unified. People should be able to peacefully protest. And in my opinion, no one should have ever been locked down anyway. Look ahead this week, the Coronavirus Act. The way they plan to keep you locked down for longer is being debated on Monday and Tuesday. Now is not the time for petty fights on Twitter. Now is not the time to be calling out the hypocrisy. We are unified. You need to get to your MP. You need to tell him or her that they are not to vote to extend the lockdown. Extending the lockdown means they can keep you locked down indefinitely. And so this is going to go on and on. Why on earth do you think they extended furlough right through until September? It wasn't just because they felt generous, it because they had this planned all along. Boris Johnson, the potato in a wig, is going to try and extend their ability to keep you imprisoned in your own home. Now is the time to get off your sofa, get to your MP and tell them you do not give them the power to make this so.